Turning now to an electoral crisis in Afghanistan, presidential candidate Abdullah Abdullah is declaring victory in the recent runoff, claiming massive fraud was responsible for putting his rival in the lead. The United States has warned both sides against trying to seize power. CCTV's Sean Kellobson is in the newsroom with more. And Sean, what is the state of election in Afghanistan right now? Well, right now it is certainly a state of crisis. Uh, you're exactly right. The, uh, Ashraf Ghani has, uh, has been declared the winner by the uh, election commission within uh, Afghanistan. However, Abdullah Abdullah, who came within an inch of winning this election outright, uh, but he 50 percent well runoff. His uh, total basically stayed the same while Ashraf Ghani gained millions of supporters. Uh, he is, uh, Abdullah Abdullah is claiming fraud and he is threatening to start his own breakaway government, for lack of a better term. Uh, today, the NATO secretary met with President Barack Obama in Washington, and those two talked about Afghanistan. Very concerned. The U.S. has invested billions of dollars trying to uh, get that. Uh, the, the, the government stable, trying to get this infant democracy off the ground. Spent 13 years, uh, has a great deal invested, and NATO says if the two sides cannot work out some kind of a deal, then it's really going to threaten the support of uh, not only NATO and the U.S., but all outside aid. It is a matter of great concern uh, to, to see the allegations of widespread uh, fraud. Yeah, a matter of widespread fraud and uh, something that's certainly being investigated. Uh, the U.S. ambassador uh, in Kabul weighed in on this as well. He was asked if there's a chance of having yet another election, saying that is basically out of the question. It took years to put this together, all kinds of security concerns. It went off without a hitch uh, in April, but this time the fraud is so widespread. They're looking at seven thousand polling precincts. You're talking about possibly uh, Elaine counting one third of the eight million votes that have uh, recounting one third of the eight million votes. And you mentioned this earlier, but Sean, what are the risks if Abdullah Abdullah goes ahead and basically tries to form his own government? Well, the real concern is this could uh, really disintegrate into the kind of civil war we saw rip that nation apart uh, back in the 1990s. The deal is uh, Ashraf Ghani has a great deal of support. He's Pashtun in the east and southern part of the country. Uh, whereas Abdullah Abdullah, a very strong Tajik, has uh, the support of the northern part of the government. So if these two can't come to some kind of agreement, try to start their own government, then it could just rip the, the uh, country apart at the seams. So certainly everyone is trying to avoid that. All right. CCTV Sean Caleb's in the newsroom.